Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phone Arena and this is the review of the Zolo B700. The main feature of this mid-range dual SIM Android phone is its huge 3450 mAh lithium polymer battery. With a huge battery comes quite hefty dimensions. The device is quite heavy at 160 grams and is 12.1 mm thick. The device feels solid and we feel that it has decent build quality for the price. The front is full glass while the sides are made of chrome like plastic. There is a 0.3 megapixel VGA front facing camera at the top next to the earpiece and the usual sensors. Below the display which dominates the front are the capacitive touch buttons for home, menu, back and search. It is interesting to note that Zolo phones such as Zolo A700, A800 even the Q800 didn't have an extra capacitive button for search. There is a 3.5mm headphones jack and a power button at the top. Since this is a small phone, it is easy to lock the phone single-handedly. At the bottom, there is a tiny microphone hole next to the micro USB slot. And there is a place for the lanyard too. Since the micro USB slot is well inside, most of the other USB chargers don't fit in, which is disappointing. The phone's plastic back has a texture that offers better grip. Over at the back, there is the 5 megapixel camera and the LED flash and below the camera is the Zolo branding. At the bottom, there is the loudspeaker. Even though the loudspeaker is small, it offers loud audio output. Coming back to the display, it has a 4.3 inch display with a QHD resolution of 960 by 540 pixels and has a pixel density of 256 ppi. The display looks similar to the Zolo A700 but it's a bit smaller. The display is bright and has decent viewing angles. The 5 megapixel autofocus camera on the back takes decent shots with macro shots being above average. It was nice to see stock interface for the camera. The phone can record 720p HD videos and since the phone lacks a secondary microphone, the audio quality is not crystal clear. When you remove the plastic back cover, you get to see the large 3450 mAh battery which covers 80% of the phone. And if you remove the battery, you can notice the mini SIM card slots below the camera along with the micro SD card slot. The micro SD card slot can support cards up to 32GB. The SIM management option in the settings menu is a common feature in the dual SIM phones these days. It lets you configure both the SIM cards using several features that we find quite robust for this price range. Let's get into the software part then. The phone runs on Android 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich and the UI is mostly stock. It also has an app that lets you connect a wireless input device to the phone via Bluetooth and a handy torch app. Of the rated 4GB of internal storage, you get about 2.05GB of user memory and 473 MB of usable RAM. The phone is powered by a 1 GHz dual core MediaTek MT6577 processor with PowerVR SGX531 GPU that is commonly seen on most of the Zolo phones. Performance of the phone was decent and the UI was pretty fast and smooth. Now we come to the main USB of the phone which is the 3450 mAh lithium polymer battery. Zolo promises 363 hours of standby and 20 hours of talk time on 3G with a single charge. The phone lasted more than 2 days with both the SIM cards on use, however, it takes about 4.5 hours to fully charge the phone if the phone is completely drained out. In the end, the only thing special about the Zolo B700 is the battery. At a price tag of about Rs. 8999, if you are looking for an Android phone under Rs. 10,000 with decent build and marathon battery life, then this is the phone you need. For the complete review, check the link below. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.